Hey lipstick besties, this is Victoria Lowe and I'm back with another video. I missed you guys so much and I'm back with a treat showing you lipstick in four ways. Stay tuned. Let's mix it up. Mix it, lipstick man. Mix it, lipstick man. Mix it, lipstick man. Mix it, lipstick man. Let's mix it up. Mix it, lipstick man. Mix it, lipstick man. things popping with this beautiful pink it goes by the name of capri and i'm showing you the matte version first i'm going in with my world famous lipstick base in three tablespoons i show you guys how to make this base but if you don't want to make it you can get it from my website at www.verivillabeauty.com if you don't know by now i will have this color available in in wholesale as well you guys so look out for that but yes i'm going in with three tablespoons of this buttery luscious base so if you've been with me for a while you know i like to use my white first aka the titanium dioxide and i'm going in with one and a half teaspoons of it and i'm blending it out really really well with my hand mixer and my glass bowl my glass bowl is the holy grail because it doesn't bend and it's really stable to hold the product as i mix and of course because it's glass i have the option of using my hand mixer I'll be sure to link it all in the description box. And then I went in with the this popping pink pigment that goes by the name of FDSC Red Number 27 Alum Lake. And you guys, I have a shot with me video basically showing you any color that you can, I mean, all of the pigments that powder pigments that you would need to make any color so be sure to check out my shot with me video because i get asked this question all the time and i have that video available to you guys so that you know what you need so that you can go ahead and start creating the cosmetic line of your dreams okay <laughs> <laughs> Some of y'all already did that already, and I'm so proud of y'all, by the way. Next, I'm going in with one teaspoon of the red number 40 FC, F, D, and C, alum lake, and I'm going to mix that in. I'm going to fold it in with my spatula first, just so that that lake, and I made a heart. <laughs> I do this kind of stuff all the time. I just feel like it's God telling me he loved me so much, and he loved you too. <laughs> But yes, I'm just folding that in first so that it won't go float. Um, you know, the powder won't go flying all around once my um, mixer hits the bowl. But yes, I'm just folding it in the old school way with my spatula. <laughs> and then next, I'm going in with a half of a teaspoon of the Isodota Cane Remix. You can grab this from my website as well. And then right after that, I'm going in with more pigment, the more of the red 40, and then I'm going to mix it well with my spatula. You guys also know that after I add ISO, I like to go in with more pigment. So yes, that's what I'm doing here. I'm folding it in before I get ready to mix it in with my hand mixer. next let's add some pink i'm going in with one teaspoon of red 27 alum lake aka pink and i'm gonna fold that in really really well right before i add my next pigment which is yellow number five and a half of a teaspoon to be exact and i'm going to fold that in as well and then i'll do some real thorough mixing with my mixer
now I'm going in with kale and clay in three tablespoons and that is equal parts to the base that we used in the beginning of three tablespoons and that is key when you want your mixture to dry faster. Some people prefer it to dry instantly and some people like it for it to dry gradually but use the clay according to your preference. And now I'm just making sure that I coat the clay with the lipstick basically making sure that I don't see any clay. And then I am going to take away a teaspoon of this clay and I'm going to be using it in my matte lipstick bullets later on. Now I'm going in with one teaspoon of ISO Remix, well actually two teaspoons of the ISO Remix because what I'm going to do is bring this mixture between the clay and our powder color additives and base and all of that good stuff back to cream. And as you can see, it's doing just that with the help of my hand mixer. I just want to make sure that I got all that clay that was on the side of that bowl and incorporated it into the um, mixture. A good idea would just to be would be to just go around the bowl with the spatula first and then use your mixer to incorporate everything. But yes, that is the texture that I love. Voila, there you have it, the matte version of Capri, ready to be applied and worn, and it feels so good. <laughs> and this pink is perfect for the springtime. Mother's Day is on Sunday, so I was like, you know what? You need to come out with some more spring colors, please, today, yesterday. But you know what? I've been busy, and y'all keep me busy. It's because of y'all. Now I'm going into Capri Satin and I'm going in with more base this time and four tablespoons and I'm just going to add that to my bowl and of course you know I'm starting off with white first. The reason why I like to add more base to satin is because it gives it that extra shine and I went in with one and a half teaspoons of the titanium dioxide and I'm going to fold that in prior to mixing it in with the mixer.
just like that, we created Capri Satin. Yes, and it feels so nice, you guys. And it is popping. That's why I'm so addicted to my lakes and my color and my powder color additives because it makes all the difference in the world. And that is that, and it's giving me the perfect creamy, shiny lipstick. Not super shiny, but you get it. Capri Matte in satin bullets so i'm going in with a teaspoon of the very velo beauty bullet base and i melted it down into that mixture um that we had before and i did the same thing with the satin so we got the matte on the right and the satin on the left now i'm gonna tell y'all right now the satin you see how liquefied it was when you pouring it in? That's what you want all the time. You want it to be melted down completely because this base forms very, very fast. The bullet base forms very fast. And sometimes if it's not melted down completely, like you about to see it right now, it will rib up on you and you don't want that. But with the satin one, it came out absolutely perfect because I'm, I, I, I was patient. Patience is key. And it came out absolutely perfect. So yes, you wanna make sure that you melting your um, bullet base down all the way <laughs> and um, basically pouring it in a liquid state versus in it can't be no, it can't be thickened, you know? It can't be like slightly thickened. It has to be fully liquid. And yes, that is the matte bullet. And now I'm trying on the satin bullet. And it's very moisturizing, might I add. <laughs> and that is our satin bullet. But I'm not gonna lie to you, that matte, that matte bullet was way more popping than the satin bullet. I'm just I'm just saying. I can be honest, I like the matte, me personally, I like the matte formula better. But now I'm going in with two teaspoons of the Very Vila Beauty Base to make the gloss. I can't forget to make the gloss for all you gloss lovers out there. Um, I'm going in with two tablespoons of the Very Vila Beauty Lipstick Base. And then I'm going to add my liquid color to that. I'm adding two teaspoons of the Very Velo Beauty White Liquid Concentrate, and you can grab these from my website as well. And then I'm gonna mix that out with my hand mixer really well. Now I'm going in with a teaspoon of the Very Velo Beauty Red Liquid Concentrate and I'm going to mix that out really well. Now I'm going again with a teaspoon of the Pink Liquid Concentrate. teaspoon of the yellow liquid concentrate. To make it pop, I'm going in with one teaspoon of the FDNC Red 27 Allen Lake and I'm going to fold before I blend. Now I'm going in with a teaspoon of the red 40 
and also a quarter of a teaspoon of the yellow number five. the powder pigments don't play so I'm going back in with half of a teaspoon of the titanium dioxide to lighten things up a bit and I'm going to fold that in before I mix and I know that I'm going to be adding more white to this because as you can see the half of a teaspoon didn't do much so I'm going in with two teaspoons of the titanium dioxide and I'm going to fold that in and I'm sorry, that was like two and a half, two and a half teaspoons. So I'm folding it in and it's bringing me right back to that shade of pink that I want. And I'm blending it in with my hand mixer just to make sure that that titanium dioxide is blending in. Now that we got our color established, I'm going in with two teaspoons of the Versagel and I'm basically just using this fabulous product to thicken our gloss up. I'm just using it as a thickener versus it being the main base because I do like the way that my base holds the color, um, the liquid color as well as the powder color additives and I'm sure a lot of people can say the same for Versagel but I'm just simply using it as a thickener. Looking at this pink, I wasn't satisfied and I wanted it to have more depth. So I went in with a teaspoon of the red liquid concentrate and I immediately followed with a half of a teaspoon of the red 40 and a half of a teaspoon of the pink to give me that depth that I am looking for so that it can match my mattes and my satin. And I believe that this did the trick so I'm trying something new. Y'all put me on to something new, yes. So I wanted to try to get sucker cotton candy flavor and I love it. I added a couple of drops of that. I added about 10 drops. Tell me how many drops in the comment section below that you guys usually use. But I did notice um, it gave it more of a fragrance than the flavor, I will say, but I loved it. And that is that popping pink gloss, yes God. Yes. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to hang with me. Thank you guys for always contributing to the business, contributing to me. Oh my gosh, I love you guys so much. And as always, stay blessed and stay safe.